Why? Why do I do this? Why? Oh. <laughs> I am returning to the hellhole. That is this app. Website. <laughs> What's up, everyone? My name's Danny. Um, if you didn't know this, today I'm reading more fan fiction about me. Uh, if you didn't know, yeah, people like to write fan fiction about me. Do I like it? No, I'm joking. It's totally fine, guys. Um, yeah. So if you didn't know, people like to write fan fiction about me. A lot of it's smut. Actually, a lot of it's fluff now. I'm really surprised. So thank you all for that. But the thing is, I can't make videos on fluff. Now you may be asking, why? Danny, that's so nice. It's so sweet. Exactly. I can't make fun of that. I can make fun of sex because people being horny is funny. But people being kind and sweet can't make fun of that because that's just adorable and it makes my heart do things that I'm not used to. So all of you need to stop before I catch feelings. But uh, yeah, so if you want me to read uh, your fan fiction, um, write smut and post it up with the Danny Phantom EXE tag on Wattpad. Hopefully I'll see it. I don't know. Tag me on Twitter if you have it. I don't, I don't fucking know. But uh, fuck. Yeah, today we're reading more smut. Ah! I'm so tired. I haven't put on makeup. I haven't. I, I, ju I just got out of the shower. I haven't eaten today. Everyone go get food. Do as I say, not as I do. Eat and drink water. I will get food after this. I swear to God, I promise. But only if you eat food too. Only if you eat food too. All right. Fuck. All right. So the story we're reading today is Danny's bratty roommate. Wow. Bratty. In the title. I know exactly where this is going. I think this is rated number three in the Danny Phantom EXE tag. Let me see. Yeah, it is number three. This is by Lavender Quill. Lavender, what's up? Thank you for writing this. Or don't, no, or no thank you, one of the two. Either I'll hate you by this or I'll be thanking you. It's probably gonna be hate, but um. Oh, I'm so tired, I'm so tired. Ah. But uh, yeah, I will fucking know. God damn it, I don't know. I guess here we go, let's do this. All right, let me get into the accent. Peanut butter and jelly. Peanut butter and jelly. Potter, Potter. Harry Potter. Severus Snape. Severus Snape. I am the Half-Blood Prince. All right, I think we're good. Let's, let's do this. Get a roommate, they said. You'll save money, they said. The thought of letting a friend of a friend move into your apartment has your stomach in knots. But the thought of asking your mom for money again seems somehow infinitely worse. Besides, it's only temporary, and you'll be safer with a guy around, right? So, fuck it. Here we go. Here we go indeed, Lavender! Here we go indeed! Two short rings of the buzzer tell you he's arrived. You jump, even though you've been expecting him for nearly an hour. You throw open your apartment door and stare down the hall as you buzz him in. He opens the exterior door and the icy wind rushes in, carrying his scent and tussling his hair. Tassel. Woo! Hopefully they got the scent right. Um, yeah. Hopefully they got the scent right. I smell like cinnamon and vanilla. That's what my cologne is. Look at this bad bitch. It's named after, not me, the British gentleman, Voltaire. I love it. I smell like a cinnamon roll. You have to remind yourself to close your mouth as the door shuts behind him and you can see him properly. Wow, he's cute. Thank you. You consider texting your friend a thank you. The last remnants of sunlight shine through his mess of pale whitish hair. You exchange strange smiles, but it takes a moment too long to realize that his awkwardness is because he's struggling with a large suitcase and two boxes that are about to fall. You remember yourself in time to save the top box and help him inside. Well, thank you for the assistance. A little too late. Yeah. When the two of you are finally in and everything is safely on the ground, you turn toward each other with genuine smiles now. I'm Danny, he offers in a voice slightly higher than you were expecting. Oh, I'm Danny. I guess, I guess I'm not British. Whoa, <laughs> this is a new one. <laughs> what were you expecting? Were you expecting anything? You realize that you're looking a little higher than before to make eye contact. Having let go of the suitcase, he's now standing rather tall. You're standing so close that your head is tipped back and the smell is starting to fill your nose. It smells like a cinnamon, I smell like a cinnamon roll, again. It's warm like cinnamon. Maybe I Hey, you got it! Congratulations, Lavender. You win. What do you win? I don't know. <laughs> he flashes a grin down at you. 
You're your name, right? Oh god, that's not how I sound. What am I saying? You're your name, right? There, that's how I say it. What the fuck? What? You're your name, right? Hi. Hi there. I'm Danny. It's nice to meet you. Oh, sounds like Deku. Bakugo! Hi. It's nice to meet you. I'm Deku. What am I doing? What am I doing? Oh my god, yes. Yeah, sorry. I'm your name. Why the fuck are you so nervous? You take a baby step backwards and give him a space as you pass to lead him to his room. You're right down here. You stand back from the doorway so he can walk through, but he stops beside you instead, just staring into bare space. You, your bed was supposed to be delivered today. You check the time on your phone. It might still. And where's your room? Right, um, let me give you the tour. Of course. There's not much to see. This is New York after all. We're living in New York! I'm sorry, I'm not a fan of New York, let alone living there. It's grimy and dark, kind of spooky, not gonna lie. I don't know, I just don't like New York. It's just, it's very overbearing and overwhelming, and um, my brain, my pea brain cannot handle that. What the fuck, why are you rambling? He knows where he is, you're being so weird. Just show him around. You show him the bathroom and the trick to the sink faucet. You walk back through the kitchen slash living room and point out the washer slash dryer setup and the spice cabinet that won't close all the way. I like this detail. That's cute. That's a cute apartment. At least I'm imagining a cute apartment. It probably isn't because it's New York. But you know, I, I, I can dream. I can imagine. You take him through to your room where you, again, stop just outside the door. This time he brushes past you. Your stomach starts sliding up your throat as he surveys your excessively lavender room. <laughs> I see what you did there. Your lavender, your name's lavender, and your room's lavender. I, I, I see that. Also, rude of me. I'm sorry. I would not just barge into your room. Again, as I say in all my videos, I apologize on behalf of all the dandies in all these stories. They are rude and disrespectful. He doesn't touch anything. He just walks through, slowly, around your bed, to the frosted window. His eyes scan every surface. He makes his way back to you with unreasonably intense eye contact and softly utters, Cute. Unreasonably intense eye contact, just, just. Cute. <laughs> the fuck? Okay, I'm really hungry. I'm gonna get food real quick. I'll be back. I got a croissant. You lie flat on your back, praying to whoever is listening for sleep to claim you tonight. You're so tired, but once again, no sleep for you. You can hear Danny on the couch, failing to get comfortable. It's not your fault that his bed wasn't delivered, but you still feel guilty somehow. Don't feel guilty. It's fine. Shit happens like that. Couch is okay. I sleep... I Honestly, I'm gonna be honest. I usually sleep... I, I don't usually sleep at a... But whenever I'm at my friend's house and I sleep on a couch, I pass. I don't wake up feeling great, but I do sleep. Home. Suddenly, you hear a tap, tap, tap. What was that? Come in! You quickly pull your legs back under the covers as the reality of who's entering registers in your foggy brain. A wave of warm air flows in and a sheepish silhouette lurks in your doorway. It sounds like you can't sleep either. Is that Jujutsu Kaisen?! Danny fully enters your room, a moth floating towards your TV. A moth? Why is there just a moth?! You might have to talk about boundaries. I get... I, again, I am so sorry. Um, yeah, he has no boundaries. I don't know what's wrong with him. I, I'm really big about personal space. I'm so sorry. Jujutsu Kaisen, though. Can I watch with you, since we're both up? He asks with the cheesiest fucking smile you've ever seen. Cute, though. I wanna watch Jujutsu Kaisen. I wanna watch Jujutsu Kaisen. Let's do it. Ha. You take a moment to consider his request. It's late, but he seems nice. And if it gets weird, you can always just kick him out. Oh, really? Is that what's gonna happen? It's smut. Smut. I don't know what you think is gonna... Listen, I wish that was the case. But knowing Wattpad, I don't have high hopes. Oh, my God. Oh, okay. Oh, my God. Thank God. Okay. Okay, so there's only smut at the very end, which I'm thankful for. I'm at the very end of the last chapter, so... Okay, so... I guess, I guess I just have to read through this entire story. Why not watch your favorite anime with your new friend? You pat the side of the bed and he eagerly rounds the foot of it, moves your sweaters to make room, and hops on. You sit up beside him, careful to keep the cover on from the waist down. God, this Danny has no class! I'm like, listen, listen, I understand, like, eager and excitement, but... 
Come on. There's no he's got no class. No chivalry. No spice. He's just he's a, he's a golden retriever boy. And as, listen, as much as I am a golden retriever gamer boy, I am also a British gentleman from the 1800s. Do not forget that. <laughs> I burp into my microphone after talking about class. How kind. One episode slips into another, then another. You don't know exactly when it happened, but the sun is up and your head is on Danny's chest. His left hand lay on your crown of your head, his pinky stroking your pillowy strands. His right hand is on your neck like he's checking if you're alive. <laughs> That's funny. I actually do that. It's really funny. I don't know why. I just kind of... I think I made a TikTok about this. I think it's cute. I, I, I don't know. I, like, w whenever I'm hanging out with someone and we're, like, we're like cuddling or we're, like, kissing or something. Kiss, kissing. Kissing. Jesus. I'll put, like, my fingers there. Like, I'll kiss them and I'll be, like... And I'll, like, bring my hand down here. I'll put my fingers there so I can feel their pulse. Because I think it's cute when it, like, quickens. What are you doing? So, Lavender, are you fucking watching me? What the fuck do you know? <laughs> it feels good here. You pretend to still be asleep. You haven't been this comfortable in a long time. Maybe ever. Oh, sorry, I have to say this in like a- in, I have to say this in like a hoarse voice. Hold on. Ah! Uh, you talk in your sleep. He says flatly and hoarsely, shattering your peace. No, no, no! Shit, shit, shit! What did I say? You ask with a faux calmness, your heart fluttering as you slide back to the, your side of the bed. You kept just saying, please, 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 over and over. Danny lifts himself and climbs across you, hovering a moment while you're face to face. I wonder what you dream about. He adds in a British- Oh, there's the British accent there! I do wonder what you dream about. He purposely tickles your face with his hair and he smirks. Your stomach is in your throat again as he exits your room. There is nothing sheepish about him as he lingers in your doorway this time. What the hell have you gotten yourself into? There. That. That. That is finesse. Yes. Again, I'm still not a whole with like the personal space thing, but that. I gotta take notes. <laughs> Come in. <laughs> I'm reading this. This is, this is good, actually. Judah, this is actually really good. I'm surprised. <laughs> There's no smut yet. That's the thing. <laughs> Danny's, be Danny's bed was delivered weak. Danny's bed was delivered over a week ago, but he still spends every night on top of your covers. You started to anticipate his taps. Last night, you didn't even start your evening marathon until he arrived. You noticed this morning that he duct taped the gap along your window. So that's why it's so much warmer in here. Tonight, you don't even bother pretending that you don't need him there. You leave the door wide open, hoping he'll take the hint. He does not. What? Uh, listen, listen, listen. I'm a creature of habit. Why would I not be there? Did you do something wrong? Did you do something wrong? Tell me, you liar. Is he seriously going to spend the night in his own bed? You will eventually get annoyed enough to throw back the covers and go to confront him. Why are you so mad? He has every right to sleep in his own bed, but why now? How are you supposed to go back to sleep without him? Staring at his door, you raise your fist to knock, but can't. Maybe you're being unreasonable. You're not even a couple. He's just your roommate. You turn to go back to your room when you can hear, Come in. Your stomach drops, like you're about to enter the principal's office. Why do you feel like a child about to be scolded? How did I know you turned away? The door is closed. What am I, a vamp? I am a- Oh, God. It's disgusting. How did I know? How did I know? Super hearing? Hmm? I'm just a vampire. I've already established this. I am a vamp. Mm. Fear. Fear. You crack the door just enough to peek your face in. Hey, you call feigning ease in your voice when you spot him sitting closer than expected at the foot of his bed. He's holding Stitch instead of you, and he's watching Black Butler without you. Two plus two is what? <laughs> <laughs> two plus two is what? What, what is your quick math? <laughs> yeah. Stitch and Black Butler. Life is good. God, I hate the second season of Black Butler. Like the ending is so garbage. Listen, the se listen, the second season is fine except for the ending. Watch Black Butler, watch the first season, watch the second one, but just do not have high hopes for the ending. Do not. I've heard Book of Circus is really good. I have to watch that. Are you mad at me? You half shout. F Are you mad at me? You half shout, flinging the door wide. Yeah. What the hell? Why? 
I realized today that I've only ever seen you eat twice since I've been here. You never order food when I do, even when I offer to pay. You're standing there holding your pants up right now. You're starving yourself. God damn it, Lavender! Why aren't you eating food? Again, everyone. Get food. Get water. Take care of yourself. If you don't, I swear to God, I will rain hellfire. I'm not. You are. I'm not. You are. You're shaking in his doorway and he's red in the face. You've never seen a man before. I've only been here for a week. Why does he care so much? You just wanted to lose a few pounds. No, 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 you don't. <clears throat> Listen. Listen, I'm going to be serious for a moment. There are plenty of ways to lose weight. Starving yourself is not a healthy way. Listen. Listen, I get, I get it. Like, image is important to a lot of people. But trust me, your health is so much more important. Please make sure you eat food and make sure you eat consistently. If you want to lose weight, go to the gym, get on a diet, something like that. But do not starve yourself, please. Thank you. It'll be spring soon and you want to feel good wearing less. And sometimes you just forget. And these pants have always been too big. And why does he care so much? <laughs> you leave his door open just to piss him off and turn to retreat to your room without another word. Your hands are cold and shaking when you reach for the wall outside his door. The ground is tipping underneath you and getting closer fast. Danny catches you before you hit the floor. He picks you up roughly and leans you into his shoulder. He seems slightly less mad now, so maybe you'll get your Danny pillow after all. Danny pillow, that's so cute! But eat! Listen, you only get Danny pillow privileges. Only people who eat get Danny pillow privileges. Gotcha? Good. He sits you down in the kitchen. Am I too heavy for him to carry all the way to my bed? You wonder as he avoids your gaze. He opens the fridge and pulls out his box of leftovers. Now you know I don't believe in sharing food, but I think I'll make an exception tonight. He holds half of his burger up. You should eat this. You bite your lower lip, trying to maintain your composure. No, thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry. That sounded like a suggestion. It wasn't. Danny, please, I'm not hungry. You are. Now stop being a brat. One bite, come on now. He slipped into that accent you like. Oh, I have to say that with the accent? You are. You are. Now stop being a brat. One bite, come on now. He knows what he's doing, using it against you now. Open up. Oh my god, this is very suggestive for just eating a burger. You swallow hard and part your lips. Ugh. God, this is... Ugh. Ugh. This isn't even the smut part. Oh, lavender. God. Wider, he whispers, pressing his thumb gently against your chin. You drop your jaw and open wide for Danny. You close your eyes and let it in. Ah, let it in! No! No! This isn't even the smut! Why? This isn't even the smut! Why? Good girl. Good girl, he breathes. You chew it up and swallow it down. Then open your eyes to meet his softened stare. How about a little more? You nod and repeat the process twice more. Now will you come to bed with me? You ask softly while he puts the rest away. I'm still a bit peeved. Pe <laughs> <laughs> peeved. I'm a little peeved with you. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's a very strange word choice. I'm still a little bit peeved with you. Maybe if you ask very, very nicely, darling. You look down and sigh and look up again, meeting his gaze with the biggest eyes you can muster. <laughs> Please, Danny! <laughs> please, please be my Danny pillow! Ooh, ooh. <laughs> I need to stop. Please, Danny, please will you come to my bed? He stares down at you intently and grazes his thumb across your full lips. You're dizzy again as your heart starts skipping. A nervous laugh escapes you. He bends down and scoops you up once more. You realize as he's carrying you that you can't look at him quite the same anymore. He was so controlling now, firm and gentle all at once. No one has ever talked to you like that before. And you liked it. Oh no. Don't like it. Oh no, we know where this is going. As he rounds the foot of your bed, you flip back the covers to invite him in. He climbs in and snuggles up to you, big spoon to your little spoon. I saw a new Korean spot opened on Ace. We should go see if it's any good. He squeezes you tight with him. Okay. Is all you can squeak out with a yawn. You pull up his hand and you kiss it. You're exhausted, but happy. See, that's cute. But I'm scared. You two have found a rhythm. It's been two solid weeks of good vibes and evening cuddles. You've stopped losing weight and you don't even care. You feel sexier than ever. <laughs> sexier? I feel so sexy! What is wrong with me? What's wrong with me?
That's only been two weeks. Two weeks. Ah, <sighs> that was fast. This escalated very swiftly. In this nightly embrace, nothing else seems to matter. Every night his arms are around your waist. Every morning his hand is on your neck. You woke up enough one night to realize that he uses this pose to move your head and keep you from breathing funny through the night. It's kind of sweet and kind of hot. NARUTO! Danny shouts from his room, probably playing Xbox. FALSE! I do not play Xbox, I play PC only. Listen, I love consoles, but PC is my pref pref preference. Pref pref preference. Why would I just say scream Naruto? Why? Sasuke! You shout back without missing a beat in your Smash tournament. SHUT UP! Yelled some kid passing by your window. You both laugh. You both die. <laughs> Danny bops you on the forehead with an empty bottle from recycling. You need water, he says dryly. Have you had any today? The light is glinting in his eyes, just right to catch the amber and catch you off guard a bit. He sips his own water and stares you down, awaiting a response. You were sipping your coffee, scrolling through TikTok and minding your business in the kitchen, and here comes Danny back on his bullshit. Sigh. I just read this next sentence. I don't want to read it. Oh, no, we're in chapter three. Here comes the smack. Okay, here we go. Danny spit into your open mouth. You stand in shock as he returns to drinking his water. Your eyes widen and your chest is caving as you can't seem to stop exhaling. What just happened? Your feet carry you to your bathroom and as if on autopilot, you're in the shower rinsing your mouth and everything else. Listen, I would too. I am so sorry. What the fuck? What, what the fuck? As soon as you hear the door open, you shoot. What the fuck, Daddy? Yeah, what the fuck? What the fuck, Daddy? You were being a brat. You grip the shower curtain and stick your face out to glare at him. So what? Why can't you just kiss me like a normal guy? A devilish grin spread across his face as he slides closer to your thin partition. Do you want me to kiss you, darling? God damn it. God damn it! That's that accent again! He doesn't play fair! This is just turning into an anime battle. That's what this is. There's a loud clatter as the shower head slips from your shaking hand. Tell me you didn't like it. Tell me you didn't have that shower head between your legs before- Whoa! 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 What the fu- oh my god. Tell me you didn't like it. Tell me you didn't have that shower head between your legs before I came in. What the fuck? What? No! Why? Uh... Oh god, I have to read this. Danny reaches out and pushes back a wet curl from your face. He grips your dripping chin with a steady hand and brings himself closer, your nose lightly brushing yours. And that's what I felt. He whispers to your silence, letting go and making a swift exit, hiding his grin from view. Silence! You scream and snatch up the shower head again. Oh my god. Oh my god. What is this? Oh, lavender. Lavender. Whoa! You turn to Danny that night, frustrated but serious. What's it going to take? I'm sure I don't know what you mean, he says. Affected accent in light mode. Light mode? <laughs> oh, God. Light mode. <laughs> yeah, you get three different versions of the accent. Obviously, you have this one up here. Hello, darling. And you have a little bit lower. Hi there. And then you have this one. Hi there, dearest. You being a good little girl. That one. So. You know exactly what I mean. You know exactly what I want, Danny. Are you really going to make me beg? He turns with a sigh and looks over at you. Eyes to lips and back again. He plucks a bit of lint out of your ashes. Ashes, sorry, lashes. He plucks a bit of lint out of your lashes. You swing your legs across and nimbly straddle him, dangling your curls in his face. What if I don't feel like begging? You plant your palm on his chest and feel his heart quicken. I'm tired of you teasing me, you whine, as you curl in to finally kiss him. In an instant, you're flipped on your back again. He's on top of you now. His left hand is on your throat and his right is holding your wrists above your head. Yeah. I'd do that. Oh, no. Oh, now there's like the power play. Oh, oh, I don't like saying this. Okay, I gotta say this. I gotta read this. You're a bottom, he growls. Ask me for what you want. Beg me for it. Pray for it. 
But don't you ever try to talk me again. His grip on your neck has never been this tight before. He's pinned you while you play around and wrestle, sure, but never anything like this. You can't stop wriggling with excitement. Whoa! Calm down! Calm down, sweetheart! Sweetheart, calm down! I'm gonna have to ask you to cease and desist. <sighs> See, it was cute up until this point. It was all sweet. Well, this looks weird. I need a time I pass. This was all so cute. It was adorable. And now look at what you've done. You've destroyed it! All right, let's keep going. If he wants you to beg, you'll beg. Please, Daddy, you choke out. Please, will you kiss me? I, I can't take this seriously. Oh, my God. <gasps> he considers you for a moment longer, staring unblinkingly into your eyes before releasing your wrists and lowering his face towards yours. Please, 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 you repeat in a whisper as he enters closer. Hey, I see that callback. Nice job to detail. He finally gives into your pleas and kisses you deeply, entirely, utterly, snow sna snow <laughs> deeply, entirely, utterly, soul snatchingly kisses you. He pulls back and releases your neck. You pull him in again for more. Every part of you is aching with desire. You reach down and pull his shirt up, parting your lips only for a split second. It takes to tear it off. Whoa! That was a nice sh God. Oh, oh no, here we go! Here we go! Here we go with the smut! Okay, brace for impact! He laces his fingers into your hair and stretches your tank top down. You hear it rip. You lower your face to kiss his neck. Ah! Oh, please, you whisper again. Please what, darling? He yanks your head back to face him. Say it is what you really want. Your breath shakes and then you manage to whisper, Ah, oh, I don't want to read that! I can't, oh god, it always comes back to this. I can't read this. I'm looking at the rest of this. Oh my god, this is graphic. Whoa, that attention to detail earlier did pass over to this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Whoa, whoa. Oh, uh, they, they, they just, oh, Lavender, don't call me god. That That's not going to go good. That's not going to help my ego. Don't, don't do that. Oh my god, Jesus. Jesus Christ, that's so, oh my God. Jesus, we're all going to hell, all of us. Especially you, Lavender. If this is the same Lavender from my Twitch streams, I'm gonna make so much fun of you, I swear to God. <laughs> Jesus Christ, oh my God. I mean, I guess we'll see. Lavender, your writing's pretty fucking good. Sadly, regrettably, Oh my god, that, 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 those were some of the most graphic descriptions I have read. And here's the thing, it was good. It was written well. I hate it. Lavender, you may be, a, there may be a future for you in writing. Oh my god, that was, you know, it was pretty cute. Pretty good. Until I spit in your mouth. Oh my god. Oh my god. I have to end this here. I I that all of this is Jesus Christ. Listen, if you want to go read this, this is called Daddy's Braddy Roommate. Again, it's on Wattpad. Lavender, you're talented. Jesus. I think this is, I think, did you already end this? Yeah, this is completed. You know, I'm a little sad because your writing is really good. Damn, really graphic, but you're, it's pretty good. It's only three parts too. Jeez. Well, hopefully you all enjoyed that. Um, God. I sure didn't. For the most part, I actually did enjoy it. It was really cute, really sweet. And then we got to the end. <laughs> um, but thank you guys for watching. Um, make sure you get some food and water. It's really important. And uh, please, guys, make sure you take care of yourselves. Uh, please, it's really important. Check out all my socials. I stream on Twitch. I have a good time there. Um, and hopefully I'll see you guys around. So, see ya. Love you, darlings.